Konica Minolta BizHub C48 Making Photocopies Soinx! Wow, just reading the name of the machine is scary enough. But don't worry, making a copy isn't that difficult. Let's get started. First, let's log in to the copier. Now that we've logged in, touch the screen where it says copy. Where do I put the paper I want to copy? You can place your document to be copied in the sheet feeder on the top of the machine. Documents placed here go face up. No staples, no paper clips, torn documents or tape aren't going to work this way. Or if you have instances like that, you can place the document to be copied face down on the glass. Where on the glass? Look in the upper left corner, you'll see an image of a document showing how to place it. So that's showing you to put it in the upper left corner, face down. Don't forget documents in the sheet feeder go face up. Now we have something to copy, but first let's select some copying features. Is your document gonna be black and white or color? One or two sided? How many copies do you want? Under the tab that says color, if you touch that, it defaults to black for black and white. There's some other options. The only two options that you really need to be concerned with is black for black and white or full color for a document that has color in it. So once you've made that selection, now we're gonna decide if we're printing our document front and back. So you can see there's some options, one-sided to one-sided, one-sided to two-sided, two-sided to one, two-sided to two-sided. So if we're making a two-sided document and we have two separate pieces of paper, we'd select the second option down from the top. Next, let's select how many copies we want. Once again, the machine will default to one. On that 10 key, after you've selected number of sets, once you've touched that button, you can now select any number of copies. So if we wanted 25, we would push the two and the five. Where it says number of sets would say 25, we would press close. We're ready to copy. Just press the start button now. Okay, now what? Pick up the copies that you made. Make sure to retrieve your original. Open the lid, take your copy out, or look in the tray return on the very top of the copy machine and pick up the copy that was spit out by the sheet feeder. Don't forget to log out. You can do this by pressing the access button. Once you've pressed the access button, you'll see a screen showing that who's logged in and asking the question, do you want to log out? Press yes, you're done. Just remember, if you ever need help, just ask.